All right, guys. <clears throat> it is just after four o'clock, and I am gonna go get dogs let out so that I can get everything else loaded up, ready to go before <clears throat> supposed to meet with everybody about 4.45, 5 o'clock in the lobby. So we're gonna go get the dogs out, it's day two. Now, fun fact, I actually tweaked my back, which does not happen very often, I do not have back issues or anything like that very often, but I was moving some dog food. We got a new pallet of dog food in, and I picked up a bag and I went to move, and my low back just went. And then I rode seven hours in the car, and I took a muscle relaxer last night and some pain meds and laying still, I was stiff as a board from the top down this morning. So I'm gonna need to get moving. Yeah. So that I can start loosening up enough that I'll be able to actually move and hunt today. So this could be interesting. But we're gonna go get dogs let out here. follow along with that and then we will meet up with the guys and try and be try and be loosened up enough by then to actually be able to move and shoot a shotgun today we'll see how this goes right now it's feeling kind of stiff <laughs> what have we here That is a very pinkish car. Very. All right, so this morning we've got everybody out on the chain for a potty break. We've got Nix, Muddy, Jax, and Jax is gonna be, a dog's gonna hang out with us for a little bit. And then on the end down here, we got Vexer. Yeah, buddy. Everybody is getting aired out. I've got these. Um, these are little Gravity Flow waters. They're a pretty sweet little item. Uh, they hold about a gallon of water almost, and they're pretty easy to tip down and then tip back up, and the water stays in it. They don't splash around too bad. It's chilly this morning, so not anybody. So nobody's really interested in drinking much water. That isn't that abnormal. They'll definitely be ready this afternoon when we start running hard. So we're on cranes this morning, and then uh, these guys are gonna go to work and try and hunt some quail, maybe run into a pheasant or two this afternoon. But just a morning air out before we get loaded up to meet up with everybody else. This may be happening this afternoon. We will see. We will see. Gentlemen. So my brain's obviously working this morning. I forgot my room key. Headed to the front desk. Good morning. How are you? Fantastic. And just like that, I'm ready to hunt some cranes. We camoed it up. I believe we're hunting an A-frame, so we're going to find that out in a minute. I just met up with Ron, who's hunting with us, and he's got a little dog named Cubby, who's a setter. Couldn't quite tell which version of setter, but a pretty one. And we're going to be head, meeting up with Brian here in a little bit, and we'll be headed out. But it is so far. Looking like it's gonna be a pretty day. All right, so I met the guys. They're back there. We're gonna go uh, meet our guide about 30 miles from here. And then we will be... Crane shooting. 
crane shooting. In the words of Brian Lasley, crane shooting. Stay tuned. Well, we are at our guide meeting spot, and I believe, unless it's just coincidental, that old boy with a dog box and a big trailer behind his pickup truck would be the guy taking us hunting. Okay. Y'all, you guys want to pick up a little blind snack, something to drink, anything? Yeah, something for the blind yeah. might be all right. It's time to go find some snacks. Grab the old wallet. Yeah, I'm coming with, buddy. We're vlogging. We gotta vlog the snacks. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast sandwiches. So you gotta have food like that to keep this much man going. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here? Uh, diesel treatment. That's not snack worthy. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Let's go. Bada, 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 bada. Need me like protein bar, something halfway healthy ish. Nut tracks are tasty. Quest bars. I think these are gonna win today. Uh, I've got a bottle of water, which will be perfect. All right, so we are pulling up to the field here. Uh, we got the rundown from the guides. They said we're gonna be setting up in a cotton field. He said, I know cotton field and I said I don't really know uh, I've never hunted cranes before but okay cotton field not normally said trust me we're gonna get on some birds <clears throat> so we are rolling down the little dirt path basically to I would guess the field that we're gonna be hunting in we're gonna get decoys set up they said birds aren't flying till about eight but uh, I'm gonna have you all strapped up top so that we can uh, keep you in the action but if you've made it this far in the vlog, guys, make sure and hit that subscribe button. We're going to be throwing content at you like this all the time. And if you don't want to miss any of it, hit that subscribe button. It helps us to keep this channel rolling. Thanks, and we'll be back with you shortly. Who's got the newish game plan? I guess I heard him wrong. Doesn't sound like a cotton field. Uh, we're kind of along the edge of a wheat field in some Milo this morning. Maybe cotton later. I'm gonna, we've got plenty of time it sounds like. I'm gonna get um, these dogs here out so they can stretch their legs just a little bit. Um, put some bark collars on them because we're gonna be parked fairly close and they're gonna hear what's going on but they don't need to be complaining the whole time. And then uh, get gear ready, get my Headlamp strapped up or camera head strapped up there so that you guys will be able to see what's going on get some extra batteries have the camera with me all the things will be ready to roll Good boy right here kennel up kennel up That a boy. Yeah, how are you this morning, huh? How are you this morning? Come on right here kennel Good job. Let's see. Hey, mud mud. Get a collar on you and get you out to potty too. Everybody's got to take care of their morning business. Yeah. A dog pooping. Come on. Let's go. Here, kennel. Good. It's pretty dark yet, but we got some big full body decoys here. Looks like I got a, a couple dozen. Say again now? They're made in Kansas. They are? Yeah, they come from uh, two brothers that make them. They're, uh, Gosh, they're out of Great Bend. Oh yeah. yeah. Deception decoys, awesome decoy. Great guys to work with. It's been what game changer for Sand Hill crane hunting. So, but don't let the secret out. <laughs> Hopscotch from field to field, and therefore, you know, you can kind of set up with them. 
the wind plays a huge part in hunting cranes because you really need a wind to keep them from getting up too high but as they progress further and further from their roots they tend to get lower and lower so very cool very cool we got the man over there taking some pictures already this is looking good you want to come in that, that way whenever you're done to pick up it's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're brush and rebrush like all the time. Birds out there. We got birds up there. Look not bad, especially early morning. They'll, they'll kind of all fall in the same path. To the east. Birds to the left of me. Birds to the birds right. To the right. <laughs> here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> no shooting or here. We got no birds out. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh. There it is. I had to call that one. That's a big sucker. Yeah. That's a mounter. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to get a shot. I knew we're on. Back from the start. Ron just pounded that one. It was this bird only. It's down out here. Let me see if we can get it picked up. I hope that looked good. There it is. There it is. Cool. Very cool. You could see that second shot with yeah. the way the sun hit it was like poof. <laughs> Back with the start. I think we're gonna get in mostly. Cool. Nice shooting Ron. Got up, flew and flew and flew. Hey, there he is. There it is. Nice fell one. over about 300 yards away. You want nice to tuck bird. it in underneath there? Yeah, nice tail. Yeah. That's an old bird. <laughs> cool. You want to do any photos with it or anything? You need anybody retrieving one or something? Well, we might. Yeah, happy to post for you. I'll get him. He, he 
might be big. Wow. There it is. There it is, that's a cool bird. I thought he was gonna bust us. I did too for a second there. Another one down. Oh, I did it. Killed my first crane. It is a big, goofy bird. We did what we came here for. Hopefully we'll get a few more this morning and we're gonna try and get another sit in for him while we're on this trip, but. Look at that. This is why we aren't running the dogs on it. Those little eyeball peckers. It's a cool bird. Next thing we gotta do is eat the ribeye in the sky. No, first we have to cook it. First we gotta kill First we have to cook the ribeye in the sky. Any chefs out there, we want you. Yes. First we gotta kill two more piece. We gotta kill two more piece. Then we're gonna take them and clean them. What is it? Uh It'd be the video tile, Sandhill Crane. Kill, cook, grill, grill. eat. Kill, and grill. kill, kill, clean, cook. <laughs> From the sky to the table. Or we could reverse it. We could cook sky it. Sky die. We could cook it first. <laughs> we can cook it. Then kill it. Then we can kill it. <laughs> and then we can throw it back in the sky. <laughs> guys so we just finished up this morning's crane hunt it wasn't a full shoot em up day but we each killed a crane which is pretty freaking awesome for our first morning here um, we're gonna go get this stuff cleaned up head back grab a bite to eat and then i think we're gonna go shoot some pheasants in the face